What are your thoughts, though, on Celtics plus 290? Do you have any confidence in them to chase that plus money, Fryer? So I had the Celtics in seven coming into this. So I expected them to have to win the final game in San Francisco. So I'm not going to come off that where they're at, you know, plus 290. I understand the difficulty of what they have to do. But, you know, they've, this, this Celtics team is well aware that they do not make anything easy on themselves at any point throughout the course of this season as much as they had that, you know, they've obviously turned things around cr- like crazy. Um, so I, I can't go away from that. And at plus, what, three, what was it, plus 360 for the Warriors to win? Or minus 360, excuse yeah. me, for the Warriors to win right now? Like, I'm not going to go win on that at this point. So if anything, I would say a sprinkling on the Celtics to go and, and pull this one off. But that's all I got for you right now. Okay, cool, Waylon. I mean, after what you've seen, like the past two games, Celtics losing back-to-back again for the first time this postseason. I mean, do you have any kind of confidence to sprinkle a little bit there on that plus 290? I mean, not a ton of confidence, but at the same time, you know, Boston was riding a pretty incredible streak, you know, yep. not losing back-to-back games. That that felt pretty unsustainable. So, you know, they're still, what now, 7-1 and one in their last eight games, uh, you know, off of a loss. So, you know, there, there, there's reason to believe that they'll bounce back. I, I kind of thought that was going to happen last night. There were a couple times where they made some runs and, and got it close, but never never quite got over the mountain. Um, you know, again, what worries me is that, you know, you just know Steph Curry is going to be better. And if you couldn't beat the Warriors, uh, really didn't even get all that close last night with Curry having the game that he did, I think that's kind of a scary proposition for the Boston Celtics. But you're coming back home. You know, your role players typically play better at home. I, I want to say you should get a better Jason Tatum game, but – I don't know, man. We're, we're five games into this final series, and Tatum just, you know, hasn't really been to that next level. You know, we're talking like the 46-point game that he had against Milwaukee. It just doesn't really seem like he has that uh, in his bag this series. So, you know, if, you, if you're Boston, you know, this isn't where you want to be, but a lot of people thought this was going to be a seven-game series, and for that to be the case, one of the teams has to be up 3-2, whether it's Golden State or Boston. So, um, you know, if you're if you're a believer in Celtics in seven, it's not going to be easy. You got to get to the seventh game, and I, I think that I think the Celtics will have a decent chance to do it. If you're going to bet Boston, if you still feel like yeah. Boston's going to win, you got to do it now because if they win Game Six, that number's coming down. Yeah, absolutely, Pratt. You have to agree with that. I know you believing that the Celtics can win in seven. Now's the time to hop on them. Absolutely, the value is there for Boston right now. Both these guys have touched on it perfectly. The most important question for me is, and I know that we've mentioned it multiple times throughout this segment, can they take care of the basketball? We all know the stat by now. The Celtics are 1-7 in seven in the postseason when they turn the ball over 16-plus times. And the truth is, there are quite a few reckless players on this team. Jalen Brown has a horrible habit of forgetting how to dribble and then just running into double teams and turning it over. Marcus Smart does too much a lot of the time, whether it's ambitious passes or heat check threes when he's already missed two in a row. That being said, it all comes down to focus. You're down 3-2, but you're not out. You're going back home. We've seen that this team is capable of beating anyone when they're locked in. And we've seen that they're able to go on the road and win a game seven if they're able to get to that point. They just did it against Miami after losing game six at home. As long as the Celtics take care of the ball, they can win this series, but they got to win game six first. 